YouTube, this is an Ace Special, and today I've decided to talk about uh, Battlefield 1's single player, or what it might have. But first, I figure I should announce news regarding Star Wars Battlefront. Just a few weeks ago, DICE has decided to add in a new skirmish mode for uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Now, this means that you can play Walker Assault and Fighter Squadron against just AI players or in co-op with a buddy or two. Uh, I should mention, in my own opinion, after having played this, it's not it, the game itself is still not quite as good as Star Wars Battlefront 2 was, but it is at least better than any single player of the uh, Battlefield games since 2007. But let's go on why uh, Battlefront's skirmish mode is important to Battlefield 1. And the reason is, since DICE has implemented this into Star Wars Battlefront, if it is successful, they're actually planning on adding more stuff into that, they've said. And who knows, this might even make its way into Battlefield 1 as well. Now, as far as the campaign mode is concerned, however, I will say this. There is at least some potential to be had here on paper. Now, to use an example, I have been vocal in the past regarding the uh, Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 campaigns and what was wrong with them. Probably the biggest factor of all was that in Battlefield, you're supposed to have freedom of choice. It's supposed to be an open world, non-linear. And they decided to make the campaign modes extremely linear. And what's even worse is the fact that they mostly restricted you to just infantry work. Whereas in the game itself, you have, of course, had aircraft, helicopters, and tanks. And while uh, both Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 did give you the opportunity to use tanks in limited situations, neither of them really had the air combat part of it. So the fact that Battlefield 1 is going to have an entire chapter devoted to air combat is actually quite promising as well as the fact that an entire chapter, again, will be devoted to tank warfare. Another thing I should mention is that there is a good deal of variety to the levels uh, from what I have seen on paper. Again, you've got your, uh, you've got your mountain warfare in Avante Savoia, which is the Italian Alps. You've got the desert warfare in one chapter. You've got the Western Front. You've even got some amphibious and uh, amphibious assaults such as Gallipoli is going to be represented. So there is at least potential here. There's some variety and DICE has made the claim that they're going to try to be more open with the level designs, which should help a big deal. If there is one thing I feel should be mentioned, it's that battlefield style games should have a single player experience that is actually the complete opposite of what you would expect in, say, a Call of Duty or one of the old Medal of Honor games. You see, in Call of Duty or the old Medal of Honor games, uh, the single player campaign worked on the basis of an extremely scripted and extremely focused experience. Every player got to experience basically the same things. So they focused on making it uh, the first playthrough as good as possible. Comparatively, when you're talking about Battlefield style games, which of course not only includes Battlefield, but Star Wars Battlefront, and I would arg also argue the Red Orchestra games, it focuses less on scripting and linearity and more about picking your own way to reach the objective and creating your own story within that little campaign. You see, the same missions are not supposed to play out the exact same way each single time you play them. They're supposed to be different in a Battlefield game. They're supposed to be different in Star Wars Battlefront. And on that basis, in my own opinion, the best campaigns ever done for a Battlefield style game to date are presently Star Wars Battlefront 2 and Battlefield 2 Modern Combat, the uh, console exclusive spin-off of Battlefield 2. And of those two, I would have to say even then that Star Wars Battlefront 2 has a better single player hands down if only because not only does it have a very good campaign for its type of uh, game, but it also has the skirmish mode along with it which adds longevity in the experience. In fact, I would even go so far as to say that while Battlefield 2 Modern Combat had the better campaign compared to Battlefield 1942, hands down, 
Battlefield 1942 also had a better single player mode because of its robust skirmish mode that came with the game. Heading back to Battlefield 1 though, I've said it before and I'll say it again, there is some good potential to be had here with the campaign. DICE has some fantastic material to work with. And it is something to at least keep an eye on. Ultimately though, what would really make me satisfied with the single player experience would be a skirmish mode. And I hope that that is a lesson that DICE is able to take to heart, especially since they've put one in Star Wars Battlefront. Well, that's about everything I have to say. Hope to see you guys again soon. Ace out.